Hi, boys and girls. Today we are on Chapter 10, Lesson 3, Parts of a Set. So our learning intention is, I am learning to write fractions of a set so that I understand that a fraction is a number that describes a relationship between a part and a whole. We're going to review our vocabulary. I changed it up a bit, a little bit to... Um, to show that it's it can describe a part of a set, not just parts of a whole. So our the numerator in this case is the, the top number in the fraction that names the number of objects under consideration. So we're talking about a set, we have a set of objects. The denominator is the bottom number in a fraction that names all of the parts of the set. So the numerator is the number of parts we have and the denominator is the total number of parts or the total number of objects. Okay, let's take a look at the pages that we're going to be doing today. We are going to be doing pages 581, 582, and 583. So get your math book out or get your pages out and let's get started. Page 581, we are doing parts of a set says fractions can also be used to name a part of a set. We've been learning about parts of a whole where you have like a pie or a rectangle or something and you divide it into equal parts. Now we're talking about a set of objects. So Mrs. Maynard gave each group of students two yellow and four red markers. What fraction of the set of markers is yellow? So you can see the markers there in the picture. And so we used counters to represent the six markers. So I've got two yellow markers and four red markers. So we're going to draw and color the counters on the fraction line below to represent the fraction of yellow counters. So if you don't have counters to match, you can use letters to represent um, your uh, counters. Um, oh, and they want us to draw and color them. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to get... Um, a yellow out and I'm going to color it. I'm going to use the highlighter because otherwise I'll obliterate it. You won't be able to see it. Okay, so I'm going to color around the yellow, all the yellows. And I'm going to color around the reds. I don't have a red highlighter, so I will use pink because that's close enough. And in distance learning, close enough is good enough. So I have two yellow highlighters out of this, or highlighters, markers out of the six markers that I have all together. So the numerator is two, the denominator is six to represent all of the markers. And so two sixths of the markers are yellow. So we write two sixths in numbers and we read it as two sixths in words. So the fraction of yellow markers is two sixths. Two sixths, just like that. Okay. So go ahead and move to the next page to 582. Cody told his four dogs to sit. What fraction of the set of dogs listened to Cody? Hmm. I think Oreo is one of those because now he sits when I tell him to. He's pretty good because he's trained. Okay. So we have four dogs there and I see that there are three that are sitting nicely and one is standing there looking at us like, yeah, right. So the yellow counters represent the sitting dogs. The red counter represents the standing dog. Each counter is one fourth of the set because there are four total. Each one is one. So you can see the unit fractions written on each counter there. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. So three dogs out of a total of four dogs are sitting. So we write three fourths, three dogs sitting, four dogs total. So we read it as three fourths. So three fourths or T H R E E fourths of the dogs obeyed. What fraction of the set, bleh, what fraction of the set of dogs did not listen to Cody? Okay, so there is one dog out of a total of four dogs that are standing. 
So one fourth or one fourth, the number word for F O U R, then T H of the dogs did not listen to Cody. All right, let's do some guided practice with the parts that are and the parts that are not. Please be careful when you take tests to watch out for that tricky word, not. Okay, because if you miss it, you're going to put the wrong answer. So in the first column, we see the fraction model. In the second column, we're going to put the part that is yellow. And then in the third column, we're going to put the part that is not yellow. So this is guided practice. So that means that I'm going to explain it to you. And then you're going to pause the video and then come back and see if you got the right answer. If you didn't get the right answer, then you need to figure out why and change it so that when you have to do it on your own, you know how to do it. Okay, so this fraction model number one, we are going first, we're going to do the part that is yellow. So I want you to look at how many total parts there are and then how many are yellow. You're going to write it in the first in the second column, that first set of fraction boxes. So pause your video. Okay, so the total number of counters is eight. So I'm gonna write eight as my denominator, but the parts that are yellow are seven. Now you're gonna put the part that is not yellow in the next box. Make sure that you do the total number of counters in the bottom box and the part that is not yellow in the top box. Pause your video. Okay, so we still have eight counters, that hasn't changed, and we have one that is not yellow, it is red, and red is not yellow. Okay, so now number two, I'm gonna have you do both of them together. So you're gonna count the um, all the ducks, the baby ducks and the mama duck, and write the fraction for the part that is yellow, and then the part that is not yellow. Pause your video. Okay, it's a little confusing because you do have a couple of chicks there that seem to have quite a bit of white on them, but they are technically yellow. So we have a total number of six ducks. So the denominator is going to be six for both fractions. Okay, we have five yellow ducks. The ducklings are yellow. And then we have the mama duck who is not yellow. So that's one six. So five six and one six. Okay, I really like this dog here. He is so smart. Look, he went to college. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a pair of glasses because he looks so smart. There you go. And you can put a little arm of his glasses going up over his ear there. Um, if we go like this, we can do it to that one. Oopsie. There you go. Little pair of glasses for our smart doggy there. Okay, let's go on to the next page. And if you are not supposed to listen to my directions, you can stop the video now. If you're supposed to listen to my directions, like you're in my class and you better, then you're going to continue with me. Okay, so on writing each fraction, read these carefully. You do have one that says not down here, and I'm going to highlight it for you not. Oops, that's not a highlight. That's my pen. Okay, not blue. So be careful. You can mark that um, in your book so that you don't forget. Okay, so you're going to write the fractions for those things following the directions. Now you're going to shade each set to represent the fraction. So you are going to have to look at that numerator and decide how many to shade in. And it doesn't matter which ones you shade in as long as you shade in the right number. If you just want to put an X over it, that's fine, because I know with Class Dojo it can be a little bit hard to color things. You can just put an X through it or just a line through it. That's fine. Just to show me which ones you intended to shade. Okay, and then for 11 and 12, you are going to read the directions and write the fraction. So um, be careful because one, your numerator is missing. The other one, your denominator is missing. So there you go. That is writing fractions for parts of a set. Good job, guys. We'll see you soon.